There's a new high-tech technique to measuring California's snowpack. It takes a huge amount of the guessing out of the game. With the snowpack in the Sierra at 178% of normal right now, California is preparing to take a giant leap in technology to measure it more closely with the help of lasers and NASA. Perhaps no one has measured California's snowpack more than Frank Gerke. Yeah. For three decades, he's used a metal pole to do it. And even he admits his manual measurement is full of errors. It could range in, from inaccuracies of 20 to 40 to 60 percent of basically not being correct. Now, California is preparing to fully fund a high-tech tool developed with the help of NASA to measure the California snowpack from high above. It truly is a game changer. We've never seen this before. This King airplane is equipped with a tool called LIDAR. Which is light image and detection. And think of it as radar, but using a laser. From the air, a high frequency laser pointer scans the snowpack. California is proposing funding the technology for the next decade to record the entire Sierra mountain range and Trinity Alps. Data collected is nearly perfect. We can pretty much guarantee the water manager that he's going to get within a few percent this much volume of runoff into the reservoir. Gerke says the aerial snow survey can also divide up the snowpack by elevation and tell water managers when snow will melt. In the six to seven thousand foot range, the snow is going to be melting tomorrow. From a low tech pole to a high tech laser, measuring California's snowpack could be leaping forward at light speed. Pretty cool. A pilot program has been running in parts of the state for the past several years. The California legislature is now considering funding the new aerial snowpack survey for the entire state for the next 10 years at a cost of $150 million.